Cubase has a really powerful and cool feature called track presets. And track presets are very similar to the presets that you might find on a synthesizer, where you call up a preset and you get one sound, call up a different preset, and you get a different sound. However, with track presets, what you're not getting new sounds, what you're getting are new treatments for specific types of tracks. And Cubase has a whole bunch of fantastic track presets from Alan Morgan, and I'm going to show you how to use those track presets in this particular project. And you can apply track presets either in the project window or in the mix console, so let me show you how to do so in the project window right now. I'm going to go to our drum folder and open the folder, and I'm going to highlight the first kick drum track, and then I'm going to right or control click on that track. And at the very bottom of the submenu, you can choose load track preset. And then you get a browser that is very, very similar to the browser that you use with virtual instruments, except that what you're looking at are different treatments for this track. So what I'm going to do is hit this little reset button right here and then talk about the filters columns. So the track that I'm going to apply this track preset to is a kick drum track. So I'm going to choose drums and percussion in the category column. And then in the subcategory, I'm going to choose kick drum. And then I can also choose different styles, substyles, and characteristics. But since I have the category and subcategory selected, in the search results window, I'm now looking at all of the built-in factory track presets or treatments for bass drum or kick drum. And at the very top of the list, you'll notice that we have five different treatments that start with the letters AM. Those are the Alan Morgan treatments. So if I wanted to audition a treatment, it's just a matter of single clicking on any of these presets and then listening to the result by pressing play. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to actually do the listening in the mix console version of adding track presets but I did want to show you how to apply track presets from the project window. So I'm going to click the cancel button right now. And I'm going to type F3 to get into our mix console. Now I'm going to come to that same track, which is the kick drum with the microphone inside, and I'm going to solo that track, and then I'm going to start playback so that now we'll just be hearing that bass drum. And now with that track selected, and my favorite way to select a track is just to click on the VU meter so that it's highlighted. Now I can right or control click on the fader itself and I get the same sort of submenu and at the bottom you'll find load track preset and you'll get the exact same browser. Now we can audition some of those different track presets. You'll notice that the category and subcategory are still selected from what we did previously. Now I can come to the search results and single click on any of these track presets and listen to the result. So let's single click on this very first preset. Well, that certainly made a difference. It uh, made it much tighter, which is uh, what this track preset is designed to do. Let's try the country kick drum. Not in love with that. Let's try the full electronic. Ooh. <laughs> that actually sounds really, really good. I may use that on the other kick drum track, but this internal microphone is a Biodynamic M88, and I want it to get some of that definition, so I really like that tight kick drum. Let's go with that. Then I'm going to click on OK. But then I'm going to solo that second kick drum track, which has a microphone on the outside of the bass drum, and I'm going to click on that VU meter to select the track, then right or control click on the fader knob and choose load track preset. Well, let's try that full electronic preset on this track. Wow, <laughs> that sounds really good. Now let's listen to both tracks simultaneously. Now what does loading a track preset actually do? You can hear that it's making a difference to the tracks, but what is it actually doing? Well, a track preset contains a lot of different elements from the racks. You'll notice that since we've loaded those two different track presets onto those first two tracks, 
that the inserts, EQ, and channel strip lights on both of those tracks have lighted up. So if we go into the inserts, you can see that the first track preset added a tube compressor and a gate to that track. If we close the rack and go to EQ, it's added an equalizer to the track, which is a different equalizer than the second track preset because we chose two different track presets. And then it also added some effects in the channel strip. So in the first channel strip, we have a vintage compressor. And if I use my mouse wheel to scroll down here a little bit, it also added an envelope shaper and tape saturation to the track. And then if we look at the other track, it also has an envelope shaper, but it is in reverse order. In this particular instance, the tape saturation comes before the envelope shaper, whereas it's the other way around on the other track preset. And as we scroll up, it also added a standard compressor to the signal flow. So if mixing is a new experience for you, these track presets are a great way to get started using some of the insert, channel strip, and EQ effects in the racks without really knowing exactly what you're doing. Because these track presets have a lot of those settings already made for you. And then you can go in and see what's been applied and also make adjustments to any of those settings so that the tracks end up sounding the way that you want them to sound. So track presets are a really great way to get going. So let's quickly go through all of the other instruments and load up some of the other track presets for the other tracks on the drum set. So let's do the snare drum, and I'm just going to kind of do this quickly. Now I'm going to leave drum and percussion selected, but this time I'm going to choose the snare drum, and I'm going to go with the roomy rock snare drum, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the snare bottom track, because I have an upper microphone and a lower microphone, but I'm going to use the same track preset on both of them. Right now I'm going to ignore the hi-hat symbol and the ride symbol tracks, and I'm going to go to the first tom-tom, which is a rack tom. I'm going to call up a track preset, and this time I'm going to choose the toms subcategory, and you can see that there are rack tom presets and there are floor tom presets. So since this was a rack tom, I'm going to call it the roomy track preset. The second tom tom is actually a floor tom, but I'm going to call up a uh, rack tom, a large rack tom. So let's go to load preset and let's go with rack tom B there. And then the last floor tom is a big floor tom. So I'm going to call up a floor tom track preset for that. So I'm going to scroll to the top using my mouse wheel, double click on the roomy stereo, and then the overheads are also going to get a track preset applied to them. So let's do load track preset. I'm going to go to drum set because the overhead microphones are listening to the entire drum set. And let's use actually one of the, this is one of my favorites, the Dirty Rock overheads. This one wasn't made by Alan Morgan, but there's lots of great track presets from Steinberg. So I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to apply the exact same track preset to the right channel. So just double click on that. So now I have all of those different effects, EQ, and channel strip effects applied. So now let's listen to the result. And to do that, I'm going to drag over here and just solo the drum group that we had. And let's listen to the result. Now bear in mind we haven't done any level adjustments to any of these tracks and we also haven't panned anything which I'm going to be describing in other tutorials but let me just quickly make a couple of adjustments here. I'm going to turn down the overheads. I'm also going to turn down the hi-hat symbol quite a bit and the ride symbol. I'm going to pan the first tom over here and the second tom over here. Actually I'm doing this backwards. That's the high pitch tom. This is the low pitch tom. This is the floor tom and the overheads are going to go left and right. Hi-hat's going to go over to the right. The ride cymbal's going to go over to the right as well, and I'll explain why it's on the right side of the drum set a little bit later. So using track presets is a great way to get some really good sounding treatments on your tracks without even really knowing what you're doing. But if you do know what you're doing, you can also save your own track presets. 
So if we made an overhead track preset that we really, really liked, we could come to this track and right or control click on it. And at the bottom of the list, you could choose save track preset and then give it a name like my favorite overhead. And that way you can quickly apply your own favorite track presets to any tracks in any of your Cubase projects. So I'm going to be using a lot of track presets throughout this course, and I'm going to be using just the ones that came with Cubase. So you'll have the same exact track presets on your computer. And like I say, they're a great way to get started. So now in the next section, I'm going to talk about the first ProMix techniques of volume.